Today we'll be comparing the difference between a K-Tech boom pole and a newer boom pole. So this is a K-Tech boom pole that I'm holding in my hands. Now let's listen to what this microphone sounds like when I shake it. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Move it around a little bit. I'm speaking right here as a boom operator. Now I'm speaking over here as a boom operator, moving the microphone a little bit farther away from me. And I'm still moving. The microphone is doing pretty good with not making as much noise. Now I'm going to pull the microphone out just a little bit. Can you guys hear any of that? You can most definitely hear the birds chirping, that's for sure. <laughs> Let's just say I'm in an atmosphere where it's very jumpy. And I'm just gonna shake the microphone a little bit while speaking to you. Let's say the, the shock mount is doing okay. Now let's say I've been holding this boom pole for quite a while. Let's say give or take maybe five, 10 minutes. Let's just say that my arms are, you know, they're holding and now they're giving out just a little bit. So far not too much rumble is happening. That's really good. And now let's just say I am just, I'm just over exaggerating how shaky the boom pole is gonna get. As I'm talking to you, you can hear my voice and it's starting to shake just a little bit. I'm trying to hold the boom as steady as I can, but there, let's just say I've been holding it for so long, it's starting to rattle a little bit now. So now that you've heard what the KTEC boom pole sounds like, let's switch it to the newer boom pole and see what the quality is like. And trust me, I know what the quality is like. I can't wait to give you guys the test. And this is what the newer boom pole sounds like. Can you hear that? <laughs> shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake that boom pole. Shake that boom pole. So with this boom pole, it's designed a little bit differently, but also very similar. Now for the gigs that I did use this boom pole on, the grip made the experience all the more worth it. However, if I was shaking the boom pole or if I was in a hurry to get the boom in the right placement before action, something like this is what you would hear. Oh my gosh. All right, so for this, I'm not necessarily gonna be on camera, but I'm going to extend this boom pole as far out as it can go, and I want you to tell me what you hear. Yeah. Aside from the rattle and everything else that the newer boom pole doesn't have compared to the K-Tech, it still is a very nice boom pole, I mean, the shake is amazing if you want to get that nice rumble and an earthquake scene. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit that like button. It really helps the YouTube algorithm in pushing out this video to more people who are searching for this specific type of content. And if you are also a sound mixer watching this video and you've had experiences using both boom poles, I want you to tell me your direct experience and what happened on that set when you were using either the newer boom pole or the K-Tech boom pole. If you comment down your story, then I'll definitely reply and comment my story and tell you exactly what happened when I used the newer boom pole why I choose not to use that boom pole anymore. However, the reason I still have that newer boom pole is because if my K-Tech boom pole ever breaks or just something goes wrong with it and I have a gig the next day, I'm gonna need some type of boom pole to substitute for the K-Tech boom pole. So that's why I still have the newer boom pole because again, it's a boom pole, it still works, although it's very shaky and rattly and when you're adjusting the knobs, it gets very, very frustrating because it tightens way too much than it should. However, it's still a boom pole that does the job and for the money, I think, it's kind of worth it. You may not think so, but think about this. It's a boom pole that does the job. You're not using a broom. You're not using a toothpick. You're using an actual boom pole that was designed to record sound on set. And if interested in purchasing either of these boom poles, you can find affiliate links in my video description down below. And if this is your first time on Jeff Makes Films, welcome aboard. Please consider subscribing for more content just like this. For more information about audio, microphones, and film production, you can check out more videos on this YouTube channel. So go ahead and check some more videos out, or you can find some more videos coming up on my end screen right now.